Welcome back to another video on the Mixed Garage YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the paint restoration on my lifted MX-5. But this is step two, so it's basically video two as well. Um, we've done a previous video on using the Autoclaim clay bar on this car, so you haven't seen that, check it out. It'll be linked down in the description. So since the clay bar is done, all the contaminants have been removed from the bonnet here on the paint. Uh, and we're going to be working on actually restoring the paint by polishing it today. The paint is heavily oxidized, as you can see by all these marks here. Um, it's just in pretty bad condition. It is, it's extremely bad. It is a lot smoother now since we've used the clay barring, uh, but we do need to give it a polish just to try to fix it up as best we can. So I'm using the Menzerna polishing compound. It's a heavy cut compound. Uh, it's pretty good because it's the only compound I have to use. Don't be swapping pads, using all the different ones. It's, it does a cut and a gloss finish. Um, it, it's pretty decent. The only thing I have to do is basically put it onto the pad, work it into the car, um, and basically you get a milky finish at the start, and once it's transparent, that means you're done. It's been worked into the car enough, and it gets wiped away the microfiber cloth. Um, the polishing that polisher that I am using at the moment has another pad as well, so I'll probably use that, um, as well as a microfiber cloth just for removing it afterwards. So that's where we're gonna start with now. Uh, can't wait to see what the paint is gonna look like. It is in very bad condition at the moment. I'll put in a shot here of what the back used to look like as well. So as you can see from that, the paint is in really bad condition in this. Anything can get better than it is now. So I was really excited to see what this stuff is like and how well I can do at restoring the paint on my Mimix 5. So yeah, I'm gonna throw some on the pad now and then we'll start polishing the car. Just after buffing off the first lot there on the bonnet is looking so much better. The white marks are completely gone from up here. There are a few bits that I need to get, see if you can see in around the uh, washer jets there. I need to probably pop them off so I can kind of go over those areas. But here was completely destroyed. You can even kind of see like the fenders weren't that bad, but look how bad they look compared to it now. Even on that side, it's just like completely faded from here all the way down. Looks so much better. I'm gonna do it again, just underneath, pop off those jets, do there as well. And then you can see this bonnet has like a, a little kind of, see the way it's like a little lump there in the center. I probably didn't get in. There's like a white faded mark all the way around it. I probably didn't work in as much. So I'm gonna do that again now, and then we'll buff it off again and take a look again. the bonnet off my lifted MX-5 completely finished now. I'm really surprised with how, how good this stuff works. Um, I was expecting obviously to take off the oxidation marks and stuff like that, but to actually have reflection in the paint now is just insane. The paint on this, if you've seen the shots before, I'll show, throw in another one again right here. So that is all the, I have buffed out the polish as well. That's why I'm completely finished now, the whole bonnet here. But yeah, I'm just really surprised at how well this stuff works. I um, can't wait to finish the rest of the car. Um, have the whole thing looking really good. Um, as I see it taking off that now, the boot is going to look even twice as good. That has really bad oxidation on the back. The white marks are really bad. But yeah, the Menzerna Ethical Compound has worked really good. And this stuff's really handy because it's kind of an all-in-one compound. You don't have to swap it, use different compounds or anything like that. It's a start to finish, a heavy cut compound, and it has a gloss finish. As you can see, we have some reflection in it now. But yeah, I definitely highly recommend it, even if anyone hasn't done it before. It's my first time doing it. Um, I'm just using a reasonably priced polisher there, nothing expensive, and it's worked really well. Um, yeah, so if anyone has a red car in particular, you've seen the results, like what I've got from this, and they're really good, so I definitely recommend it. Part three of this video, it's not gonna be in this one, it's gonna be in the next one. I'm gonna be waxing the car to protect the finish on it now. Uh, polishing basically takes off all wax as well, so the paint needs to be protected now. I'm gonna be using some soft 99 wax in the next video. So keep an eye out for that. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.